Hello friend, welcome you all. Today I am going to show you that how you can perform repeated measures one way ANOVA analysis in GraphPad Prism. Repeated measures one way ANOVA is a statistical method used when you are dealing with related groups dependent samples. These could be the same group at different time point in time or under different conditions. The one way indicate that there is a single independent variable or factor being tested. The repeated measures means the same subject are being measured multiple times typically under different conditions. This contrast between subjects or independent groups design where different subjects are used for each conditions. Here you can see in the graph point prism software if you click here on the column you can see the one way ANOVA. In this section you can see the ordinary one way ANOVA and repeated measures one way ANOVA. So I have already made a tutorial on ordinary one way ANOVA. So today I am going to discuss about the repeated measures one way ANOVA. And before this in the data fit table option you can see there is two option enter or import data into a new table or start with sample data to follow a tutorial. So I am going to start with the tutorial. So just select this one and this in the one way ANOVA and click here on the create. Here you can see in the data table option it has added the example data in the data table option and if you see here the graph pad prism also provides the node so you can see the node having the information about how the data are organized or goal of this test and how to perform repeated measures one way ANOVA and here you can see there is a link if you click here this will direct to the web page of graphpadprim.com website they have stepwise information to perform the repeated measures one way ANOVA analysis or any other test as well and if you want to more information you can visit this website so i'm going to minimize this note in the data table option here you can see the control treatment 1 treatment 2 and treatment 3 and in the row title option you can see the individual name and their value of control condition and in the treatment condition and this is very important for the repeated measures one way ANOVA analysis in which each row represent a particular individual having the data in different conditions likewise in the second row these value are refers to the individual JM so you have to put data in this way so that you can analyze your data for this test if you are not able to see the row title just double click here you can see this will open the format data table option and you have to just click here maybe in your case it is not checked so you can see here if it is unchecked you will not able to see the row title just double click here and check this box you can see the title in the graph section if you click here and you can choose graph type according to your choice so i am selecting the mean median and error and here you can see there are lots of options i am going with the default one and you can see the value of all four group and to perform the statistical analysis you can click here in the result section new analysis or you can also click here on the analyze button here when you are in the graph section but so if you are on the data table option you can also click here on the analyze button and also from this this point you can also go to the analysis by selecting this analyze button here and click on the analyze data so you have mul multiple option to analyze your data so i am going to select here analyze and here in the column analysis you can see the t-test and the, so because we are analyzing the one-way ANOVA analysis so I am selecting the one-way ANOVA here and in the table option you can select your group if you want to if you want to perform your analysis on the selected group or check all the group if you want to perform the analysis among all the group and click here on the OK button this will open a new window in this window you can see the option experimental design there are two options no matching or pairing or 
E0 represents matched or repeated measures data. So this is already checked that we have already discussed about the data table. So you can see there are groups and each row represent a particular samples. Assume Gaussian distribution of residual. So for this, you have to perform an, another test so that you can see your data is parametric or non-parametric. So for this, I'm going to show you that how you can perform this. Go to the analyze button here and in the column analysis, you can see here normality and log normality test. Select this one and click here on the OK button. Here is asking for which distribution to test. So it is normal or Gaussian distribution. We are going to test for this and method for and method to test the distribution. There are four methods to test the distribution. So it already checked. So I'm going with the default one. I'm going to click here on the OK. Here you can see the test result for the normality. So the first test result showing this is the too small and the second also showing there is too small value for the for this test. But in the third test, you can see it is showing that our data is normally distributed in all in all four groups. And the fourth test is also showing our data is passed for the normality test you can see here so we know that our data is normally distributed so so i am going to again show you how you can perform the repeated measure one way ANOVA so click here on the analyze button select the one way ANOVA and check all the groups click here on the OK in the experimental design select each row represent matched or repeated pieces data and in the Gaussian distribution click here on the yes and assume sphericity so it is recommended by the graphite bridge so i'm going to use this one and the next option is repeated measures in the repeated measure option you can see there are three options the first option is repeated measures ANOVA if there is no missing value in your data and the second is mixed effect model and in this results are presented in a format different than ANOVA works fine with missing value. You can check this if you have missing value in your data. But if you select for third one, it depends on use ANOVA if there are no missing value, use mixed effect model if there are missing value. So it automatically detect the test which of test will be used and on the basis of the condition that present in your data type. And I am going with the default value that are checked in this section and and the next option is multiple comparison so it is very important for the test because one way ANOVA test will give you the result that there is effect of your treatment in your experiment but it will not tells you that which group is showing or which treatment is showing the effect or have the effect in your for this you have to use multiple comparison so you can see there are option none or the second is compare the mean of each column with the mean of every other column. If you select this, this will give you the compar comparative data of all group. And the other is the compare the mean of column with the mean of a control column. You can select a group to make the control group and this will give you the result on the basis of enlarging the data versus this control group so, but i am going to select this one so this will compare each group with another group so you will get the result from all the group and the option here you can select the test for multiple comparison so if you select, click here you can see there are five tests for the multiple comparison and the graph bridge recommended the tukey so i am going with the tukey but you can Use one for any CDEC, Holm CDEC, or Newman Cools. And I'm not going to change any other value in this setting. So, in the last option is residual. And this is for the graph section. If you want to check the data in the graph form, you can select your graph type. But I'm not going to select any graph type here. So, click here on the OK. And here you can see the ANOVA result. And the p value is. 0.08 and the summary is non-significant 
and if you click here on the multiple comparison analysis and here you can see the comparison between all the possible combination in the groups control versus treatment one and two three and treatment first treatment one versus two three and the all other possible com combinations so you can see there is no significant difference in any groups so in this way you can analyze your data using the repeated measures one way ANOVA very easily and I hope this tutorial may help you in your research and please let me know if you need any help regarding repeated measures one way ANOVA analysis and if you like the video please subscribe my channel thank you